everyone, it's Tiffany. I am here with the brand new Yart, Yarn Works of Art. I want to thank the company for sending this to me to open up for you guys today. So this is a narwhal picture that we will be creating with yarn, which is kind of crazy. I'm excited to figure this out. I'm a huge like crocheter and stuff, so I, I love crafting with yarn. So this is right up my alley. Obviously we're not crocheting or anything. It's like a whole new thing, but we're decorating with yarn. It should be a really good time. It says yarn clings to oops proof grip and stick yard board. That's exciting. Let's flip it around. Wow, there's a lot of information on the back. So Yart by number key. So we have our key there and then it says, welcome to the world of Yart where coloring meets craft. Simply thread the yard pen and color in the numbered areas. Yarn magically clings to the grip and stick yard board. As you twirl, swirl, and zigzag to complete your unique design. Box includes easy to cut out display frame for your yard work. Cool, <laughs> I can display it later. And then it says includes eight by 10 grip and stick yard board, 33 yards of premium yarn, one yard pen, one instruction guide, and one cut out display frame. So it shows us down at the bottom, we can zigzag and we can swirl and twirl. Color in any direction and pattern to make amazing textured artwork. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the box and we'll probably do a speed up of me creating this masterpiece. Hopefully it turns out okay. I don't know, I've never, I've never done yarn before, so fingers crossed. The project is completed. Yes, it looks a little rough. I'm sorry, I'm not an artist. <laughs> it takes a little bit to get the hang of it, but once you do, it's it's a really fun way to, I guess, color, if you will. You know, this is a very, very interesting, very interesting take on this, and I'm really excited. I actually really wanna go buy the rest of these. I know there's tons of different styles, but quickly, I wanted to just show you this a little bit better. I did kind of show it a little bit in the beginning, but there are coloring techniques, which I tried mostly the swirl, and it was just, again, this is really something 
you need to just kind of get the hang of if you want to make it really really like intricate like let me uh, get the back of the box here like this <laughs> you need a little bit of practice but honestly I went freestyle I had a really good time I'm excited about it and there's even a frame on the back of the box which I ended up cutting out so you just go ahead and attach that but I'm not gonna attach it right this second but it would just go in like this or you can do it without and then if you do mess up I just wanted to note there is you can peel your yarn off. It's like a little more difficult too, so try not to mess up, but you can do so. It does say, I believe, in here, oops proof. If you make a mistake, gently pull up the yarn from your yard board and reposition. So this was, this was so fun. What do you guys think? Do you think I did an okay job? I think I did a pretty okay job. There are some spaces that really need help. Like this was supposed to be a heart. <laughs> this I messed up because I went a little too far over this way. But it was really fun. The only suggestion I have is your, your yarn comes like this. I definitely would recommend just unraveling it so it doesn't get all tangled and knotty. I've, I've, I've dealt with a lot of yarn in my life and I, I always end up unraveling everything before I start a project. It just makes for way less knots and way less confusion, especially since you don't want the yarn to touch your board while you're working. You know, you want it to come just directly from the pen, so you don't want any bunches coming over to the side. You probably saw some of that happen to me while I was doing this. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment down below. What do you think of my art project? I love my little narwhal. I can't wait to hang him up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and I will see you next time.